this video is going to answer a question that I've had about what do you do for warm weather and how do you keep bugs out of the uh, van when you're camping. So here's the low dollar but very effective solution. This is a section of mosquito netting that you can buy at Walmart or fabric stores. I bought this on Amazon. It's just netting and you can get it in various colors for for you know craft projects. It comes in white and pink and other colors but this is black obviously. And this is a, a stack of magnets about the size of a quarter, a little bigger than a quarter. So here's the solution. A couple magnets across the top to hold the netting to the metal of the door. A couple down the side. A couple on the bottom. And then the excess netting just overlapped in the door frame. And these magnets are super strong, but obviously they snap off real easily. Just overlap the netting in the door frame, shut the passenger door, and this is the same netting essentially that you'd have on your tent windows and door. Super, super fine. And that pack of magnets and this bundle of netting is about the size of my fist. So I'm just going to stuff it in a little Ziploc bag. And in the evening, if it's hot, when you arrive at your campsite, as the sun's going down, um, just put this on one side door and you can close the other door, leave the other windows open. And uh, if you're in a nice private campsite out boondocking, you can sleep with that door open all night. And it'll be right by your head here at the front of the, when the bed is extended. But you don't need to have complicated solutions. If you want to do the same thing, cut this netting in half and drape it over the, the front windows or these side windows open up completely also, you could do that too. Just put it on the outside and attach it to the, to the top and the bottom. So you don't need to stick Velcro or, or sew anything fancy, do anything elaborate. Sometimes simple solutions are actually better. So that's a good way of having tremendous amount of ventilation in the gone camper van and uh, and yet total investment I think was probably about ten dollars and uh, problem solved <laughs>